Welcome to my channel. My name is Tatiana and in this video I'll show you how I made this console slash bar table. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY projects. Before I start any projects, I always go out and measure out where I'm trying to build the item to go and so eventually we're gonna get granite and have like a bar table, but for the time being, I'm trying to make a bar table for the kids to have their breakfast. In the beginning, I went ahead and cut down the table. I always cut off a little piece from the front and then start measuring off after I already cut up that little piece um, to make sure that both sides are perfect right angles. For the legs and the back bottom piece, I just used 2x4s, but that's because I had them at the house and I could just plane them down with my table saw. And for you guys, if you guys don't have random scrap wood right laying around the house, I would just get the 2x2s by 8s at Home Depot or any lumber store. and. That way you don't have to do the extra planing like I do. You want to cut out four of the legs that go vertically and then one long back piece that goes horizontally and then two little pieces that hold the legs together on the sides. Keep in mind if you don't have a table saw or a miter saw, um, I know Home Depot and Lowe's whenever you buy the wood from them they will have the option of cutting it for you and if you don't have those things you can just grab the measurements with you and get them to cut the wood for you. So here I'm just planing down the wood um, because I wanted perfect square edges and yeah I'm a cheapo that didn't want to go buy a planer to do this for me. <laughs> After I cut out all the pieces, I go ahead and put the bar table together to make sure that I like the measurements of the bar table before I stain it and paint it. Now you want to put the leg pieces together, um, pretty much the two vertical leg pieces with the sides together before you get the horizontal piece on. Um, I guess my kids like to just come and join me. <laughs> easiest way to put the top on is to flip the table over and that way everything is aligned and it's much easier without having to hold anything and yeah so before I put this table together I did go ahead and spray paint the brackets so this is what it comes out to be and I like the measurements and the height of it so next what I do is fill in all the holes um, and Honestly, I always add on extra and then after I did all that the next morning I went in and sanded down the whole table the bottom and the top piece Before staining you want to go ahead and wipe down all of the dust and for the stain, I used that oil-based classic gray by Varathane. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I already had this stain. I've used it many times. I really like the color of it. And I did one coat of the stain on both sides. After the stain dried, I went ahead and did two coats on both sides of the polyurethane. I used the oil-based in clear satin. And if you guys use this stuff in oil based, you got to make sure that you are in a well ventilated place because this stuff is really, really strong and it smells really bad. Um, I made sure to have my windows open and my doors open. 
While I waited for the polyurethane to dry, I went ahead and painted the base to the table um, in uh, the Rust-Oleum Black Semi-Gloss Paint in latex. After everything is dry, you want to go ahead and put the pit table together. Honestly, this is my favorite part from the whole project. I love to actually just put everything together and see how everything goes together with the colors that you choose. Quick tip, what I do is put the cabinet bumpers on the sides that touches the wall and this way it doesn't chip the paint on the wall or it doesn't damage anything and you can have it leaning right against the wall. So I'm very satisfied with this project and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and if you guys are going to try this I would love to see your guys' pictures of what you guys do. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching my video.